So what we're going to be doing today uh, is replacing these EL panels. EL stands for electroluminescent. And they're like light bulbs, only they last longer. They run a high voltage current through them. Lasts about 10 years as opposed to a light bulb will last mm, two. Some of the things you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver, a set of Phillips uh, tiny screwdrivers, wire crimper, wire cutter, soldering iron and some solder, a scissor, and this is for cutting the electroluminescent panels that we're going to be placing. I don't have the key that matches this lock anymore but it doesn't matter because we can get at it by first loosening these three screws. Put those off, you can pull the top and the panel slides out. These are the light bulbs or the electroluminescent panels that we're going to replace. I should mention before we go any further make sure you have your unit unplugged because there's warnings everywhere saying high voltage and that's what runs through these panels. So unscrew. Just loosen this one. You don't need to actually pull it all the way off. And there's a pair over here. As a matter of ease we're going to pull off this panel, bring it over to the work desk for soldering. It does have three attachments and you can see at the top all of these solder joints. These two are attached to each other. You can leave those alone. This one on the far left is attached to a wiring harness and in order to get that slide in a small screwdriver to open the latch and then you're able to pull it out. In order to liberate these old EL panels just slide a flat edge and work your way around making sure not to disturb these two terminal sites because we'll need those for hooking up the new panel. Work it around. Before we connect it up I want you guys to go into your vehicle. If you get a unit like mine it has one of these cigarette lighter adapters for power. I want you to go in and just test because it can be difficult to tell even which side lights up and you don't want to get that screwed up and place it backwards. But if you see that you plug it in and it lights up, you'll see that one side lights up and the other stays blank. And then we'll unplug it. After verifying that this is the side that lights up, if you see the black and red terminals are right here, so we will position it this way. Snip right here. Strip it and solder. This is the lighted side and we're going to use the old one as a template. Just cutting around it. After you've cut the panel, position it roughly where you want it to be before soldering and you'll notice the outside terminals are for your red wire and the inside terminals are for your black wire so if you look at the far left side it's the same thing inside terminals or your ground terminals are the inside wire so we'll solder those up after soldering, anytime you do electronics, you want to do a small step and then test. So what we did is we reconnected up this EL panel and then plug in your power. You want to also make sure that you have a game cartridge in the one that you're going to test otherwise it won't light up. And so I repositioned the cartridge to bay 4, which corresponds to this far right one, and we'll turn it on to see if it lights up.
Hey, we got it. Now we'll go back and do the other three. Now before we electrical tape things to make it look very elegant and nice, we'll test to make sure all the lights are working. Put it all back together. There we go. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.